Hi, it's the weekly message time, and I want to ask you a question. What excites you? What excites you? The reason I'm asking that question is, is that I think we get so carried up in what we need to do, what we have to do, that we forget to really plug into what gets us excited. And once in a while we happen on it and it seems like almost an accident that we enjoyed that event or that we got really excited. But if somebody was to ask us abstractly, like I am now, what excites you, we'll often say, well, gosh, I don't know. Well, just this past week, Alan and I hosted two of my brothers here in Florida, and one of them had really never traveled before, and the other one had traveled a lot, but hadn't traveled in a lot of years because he's been very, very sick. And we actually started talking about the concept of being excited because they had a chance to go golfing. One of my brothers was super excited every time somebody hit uh, a good shot. And he would say to the other brother, you did really well, aren't you excited about that? And he would say, yes, I am, I'm very excited. But I just don't show it the same way that you do. So later on when I was talking to him about it, I said, you know, it's funny because I guess I think of myself that way too. I'm not super, super excitable and I'm not super, super depressible. In other words, I don't go really high and really low. But you know what? After I said that to him, I really thought about it. And I said, you know what? That's really not true. That's what I'm like when I'm not doing things that I'm really excited about. Because when I'm in Alouette, when I'm at a monthly meeting, when I'm training, when I'm talking to people about Alouette, I get really excited. My voice tone changes, my enthusiasm changes. When I talk to people about spiritual issues and I learn new things, I get really excited. As a matter of fact, there's two things that I know for sure really excite me, among many, I'm sure, but I've made a decision consciously to remember these and to plug into them even more because who doesn't want to be excited? I mean, gosh, look at the news and what's happening in Japan. You cannot turn on the news without feeling so bad for people, and there's always bad news. But when you're getting ready to go to a show or you're planning on activities that you need to do to get your life back in track, you have to plug into what excites you, not what do I have to do. So here's the two things that I know for sure excite me. Number one is learning new things. I love to learn new things. It can be spiritual issues. It can be about business. I love talking to people and asking them about themselves. I love hearing stories of how people have overcome difficulties in their life or people have had new experiences. It, I really, really do. I love to learn new things. Just last night, we went out to uh, dinner with the congressman that I met down here, and I love hearing what he's doing with his track five, which is all about creating peace uh, in the world. So I got all excited about that. It's one of the things I love. When you read further in this weekly news, you are going to learn things from uh, Patricia Felice, from Denise Teacher, and from Jacqueline Groon. I'm so proud of Jacqueline. Not only is Jacqueline starting to look like a model these days, but Jacqueline is also making her own YouTubes to send to her customers, to send to her hostesses, and she made one for you about how to do the booking game. Patricia started to implement right away the things that I went over at the monthly meeting. Uh, little things on the booking checklist, which is also on our website. Instead of saying, oh gosh, that was motivating, I sure hope my bookings turn around, she made a conscious decision of what she was going to implement. Now Patricia decided not to implement the envelope game, but to implement a couple of the other things and read further and see the kind of results she's had. Now Denise is one of those people who always says, gosh, that was fabulous, but you know what? There's only so much I can do. So she sticks to the tried and true things that work for her. And guess what works for her? It's called Let's Make a Deal. Denise loves to talk to a hostess and say, what's it going to take for you to have that show on the night I want it? But read in this email how she saved a show from canceling using the same thing. Now I'm sharing that with you also because we're not doing a hostess special for the rest of the month. Remember, we are going to focus on being master bookers, being above average, and it's a skill. It's not a special promotion. Now promotions can be part of it, but what it really comes down to is how excited are you? See, if you weren't excited about that Leprechaun special, then you wouldn't get any extra bookings anyway. Um, Misty Cousineau just finished doing an Easter spring type special that she sent out, a flyer, how she's going to do little Easter eggs and people can pick out of it. Now, do all of those things really, really get you at more bookings? Yes and no. They do if you're excited about it. If you make your business fun and you're excited and you can't wait to have people react to it, you get results. But if you look at it as a chore, as a bother, as another project, you won't get the results. 
also, if you go into it with the mindset of, yeah, I'll bet this won't work. Let me, I'll just, you know, let me just prove that to them. That's exactly what's going to happen. Also, remember, you have to do something enthusiastically at least six times before you can tell me it doesn't work. And I will probably tell you that you probably didn't do it with the right attitude because we never share tips with you that aren't already proven. So the first thing that I love that makes a difference that gets me excited is learning new things. The second thing is I love, love, love to watch other people having an experience. I truly think that I probably enjoy it more than having the experience myself. Having my brother Stephen down here who'd never seen a, you know, a palm tree, who'd never been in the warm climate, who'd never had any of these experiences, I, I don't know even how to explain to you that it was like watching a five-year-old child at his first time at Disney World. Everything was new to him, things that you and I would take for granted. I mean, the simplest things he was excited about. And I really almost was in tears a couple of times thinking about the fact that I was able to provide this opportunity for him. So when you're thinking about your goals, are you really thinking about what is it I'm gonna provide for my family this spring and summer? What experience do we love that we could do more of if we had the income to do it or if we weren't stressed about paying our bills? What do you like to do with your husband? What do you like to do with your girlfriends? What makes you have that zest and that joy for life? Plug into that. It will make all the difference in your business. Now, this week is also Spell Up Week. Are you watching your totals? Are you keeping track of where you are for Spell Up? Remember, for Spell Up, we do it in four levels. $250 in sales is the first level, then $500, then $750, and then $1,000. Now, what we use for Spell Up sales is the commissionable sales of your shows. That's line three as well as any retail orders you've taken or any personal orders you've put in. They have to be dated starting today. In other words, you have to have taken them, not entered them, but actually received the order starting today, March 13th, until Saturday. And that's your spell up. Also, our recruiting time contest is coming to an end. We don't normally do recruiting contests, and we have the most amazing recruiting contest on. For those of you that didn't get the sterling silver bracelet, or you wanted the coffee maker, or both, you can still do that with the kit's release. So go to our franchise website, check out the contest page, and make sure you're on track for the recruiting contest, as well as make sure you're on track for our six month contest. Because I can tell you one thing that excites people in Alouette is winning. When you come up to the monthly meeting and you're getting and receiving gifts and recognition, it's part of what builds your self-esteem and it is part of having fun. And I absolutely know that when you go home and you show your children and your husband the things that you've won in Alouette, it helps them to be excited for you. And it gives you that extra boost of self-esteem. We asked you starting last week to report to your manager answering certain questions. And I hope you started to do that. And I hope you really understand how important it is. And thank you to those of you that are doing it already. Because it has made a difference already to your manager knowing really what's happening at the show. If you're not reporting your results, let me first of all tell you that if you don't report to your manager the night of the show, I'll never promote you to management. I don't care how many people you recruit or how well you do. If we can't count on you to report to your manager, then I know I won't be able to count on you as a manager reporting to me. So what you might think of as, hey, I'm independent, I'm good, I'm on my own. You need to know, I will not promote anybody to management who does not report to their manager. And obviously I know that because when I asked the manager, where's her report? She says, she hasn't emailed me back or she hasn't called me back. But you want to be reporting to us so that you can get the, the uh, recognition, so that you can get the guidance, so you can get the help. You know, when you go home from your show and you share it with your family, you only want to be sharing the good news, how much money you made, even if it was a lousy show. Figure out how much money you made per hour. That's what you share with your family. But when you need help, when you need guidance, when you're not feeling too good, when you're disappointed, that's when you need us. So regardless, be sure that you are reporting to your manager as soon as you walk in from the show because your show is important to us. We are building, we are growing, we are offering an opportunity to women all over our territory. And I want you to be a part of that growth and for you to be a part of experiencing the things in your life that get you excited. So that's my challenge. What gets you excited? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.